the top down feeling free Talking about you and me Talking about smooth sailing Hong Kong seas Feeling on flowers and bees Talking about you What's up guys, welcome to Training Reviews. So today I've got this wireless Bluetooth speaker. It's an awesome retro looking TV shaped white speaker box. So I'm gonna run through a quick spec overview of what this little thing can do. And then I'm gonna give you some audio samples as well to see how it looks. Now, first of all, it's a 3000 milliamp hour battery life, which gives you about four to five, six hours of charge time and up to 10 hours of playback time, which I think is pretty cool. Now you have three buttons here on the top. You have channel, volume and power buttons, which obviously correlate to a TV set, but actually they do certain things. So the channel button at the top cycles through all the different patterns that actually display on the screen. Volume is actually the volume and you can see an indicator on the screen as well when you put the volume up or down. And the bottom is a settings button or a menu button. So you can change the mode between connecting your Bluetooth or looking at the battery life and that kind of stuff. So the design is really awesome. This one I've got in white. If you look at the top, you have four different cutouts for the speakers. And then at the back, you have the uh, high bass boom box there that actually vibrates if you put the volume really loud. Right at the back of the bottom uh, flap, if you open that up, this actually is the uh, port control. So you've got the power button to turn the actual device on from there. You also have the auxiliary input. This comes with a auxiliary cable to connect to phones that have headphone jacks and you can plug in directly through there if you don't want to use the wireless settings. You also have the option to put a mini SD card as well, a TF card and playback music from there. And you also have the charging port to charge via the USB type B cable that comes with the uh, box as well. But the thing that stands out the most is that this retro looking speaker box comes with an awesome display with a set of various different retro designs that you can actually control on there via an application that you download for iOS or Android. And uh, I'm going to be showing you that in a second. But there's also ways to actually customize it. But there's so many different designs that come with the application for this device that you can control directly onto there. I'm not going to have enough time to go through all of them, so I'll save them for separate videos. I'll also put a few on my Instagram at Training Reviews, but I want to go through some of the main features that come on the app, which I know you're going to like in this. So why not just go ahead and uh, take a look? Right, so I've got my phone ready. Now, if I go ahead and turn this on at the back, just hold it down and you'll see. You hear that little audio confirmation. Bit of a retro kind of noises that this uh, thing makes. So now that it's ready, the, it gives you a little clock as well to start off. So I'm going to play something on my phone and uh, you'll get to see how that looks on there. Now I'm just going to turn the volume up to the maximum. I've got my microphone just above me, just to give you an indication of actually how loud and how powerful this thing can go. So uh, brace yourselves, you might want to put the volume down a little bit on your headphones or wherever you are listening to this. There you go, that's uh, an example of the audio on there. It's really powerful, really rich sounds, and I do like the little bass that comes with it. The bass is six watts, not the most powerful bass in any wireless little speaker that is probably on the market right now, but this can basically give you audio through an entire room, and it's just, for me, for the price you pay, it's just an awesome little device. So let me go ahead and show you a bit about the application that comes with this, and um, see what features that it can, uh, can do. Right, so you can see here, the uh, home screen shows you so many different types of retro designs that you can go through. There's some categories along the top here. You've got top, cartoon, holiday, and so on. If I just go back to cartoon, you've got Pikachu, you select that. Pikachu is on the screen there. Scroll down, there's so many other ones that you can play around with, maybe Pac-Man, and uh, play some music to that. You can even use some emojis. Let's have a look. Some pretty funky ones on there. So there's a couple of things you can do. Now, if you click the uh, home tab again, this is where you get a lot of the really cool options for the app. 
So design, if you click on that first one there, this basically means you can design your own retro pixelated theme or picture or whatever sketch and uh, it will display directly on there. So for example, I'm gonna draw on heart. There you go, it's happening in real time. So if I use the eraser and clear that, maybe I'll do something yellow, maybe I'll draw a sun like that. And then uh, maybe draw a smiley face in there. Pretty crap, but as you can see, it's uh, doing the job. So you clear that. Now that's um, an option for you to create your own designs, play around with it. Animation, you can add some of your own things to cycle through. So for example, if I just draw a quick tree and then tick and add another one, maybe I'll do the sun again, just quickly, tick, and then I'll just do some birds flying and then uh, play that. You can send that through and you can see that this cycles the animations of all of your designs here. You can create as many as you want and they'll cycle through on there. So that's the option for that. And then on the top right, you have the uh, text option here. So you can write any text you like and that will also cycle through on there. So if I go ahead and send that through, hello YouTube, make sure to subscribe. So obviously it might not be a little bit clear in the camera, but it's actually doing a really good job there. You've got some options to help you sleep there in the middle. So you can listen to some uh, ambient noises, um, maybe some outdoor relaxation, meditation kind of stuff. Um, and this can actually help you fall asleep. So if I give you an example for campfire. I've actually turned the uh, campfire uh, retro option on there as well. Then uh, you can do that. So there's so many different things. You can also have an alarm as well, and you can set to various different days, different alarms for different designs, different sounds, music, that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. So you can use this as your alarm clock for the mornings. There's also an option if you like to be sort of a part-time DJ, then you have the option to play around with all the DJ controls whilst you're playing music and add a bit of your own touches to that as well. Now I'm no expert in that so I won't be showing you that in this video. Also there's a channel tab there at the bottom as well. So you have the channel button at the top where you can actually cycle through all the different designs. Clock being the default one at the uh, first point. You cycle through, it cycles through randomly. But in the uh, channel tab on the actual application, you hit that uh, big button there at the bottom and it will give you a cycle through all the different types of uh, top retro designs in there as well. So you can see as I'm pressing it, it's going through loads of different various options. So that pretty much covers uh, all the main features I wanted to talk to you about this little speaker. I hope that gave you a good idea. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy it. It's available on Amazon for just over £60. They have different models, different designs that you can also check on their website. I'll also leave a link to that down below. If you have any questions, then do let me know. Otherwise, I hope you found that useful. I hope you liked this video and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.